Good afternoon and welcome to Honu Headline News. I'm Sean. And I'm Blessing. And we're your anchors for this week's broadcast. We have some exciting segments for this week's broadcast, but first, this week's announcements. We have a ton of college visits. Stay tuned in Honu Hub for more information. There's an Applying to College 101 workshop happening this Thursday from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Parents and students are welcome. You can contact Ms. Loke for more information. Prom Committee is continuing fundraising in the hallway this week. Make sure to stop by during lunch and grab a snack. HCA's Class of 2024 graduation ceremony will be held on May 20th at Hawaii Convention Center. Make sure to save the date. Lastly, last week's faculty painting votes are in. The winner is... Miss Vivian! Now for our segments. First up, we have our recent news recap with Tamar. Dinosaur for sale, college ranks, football history, and more. Good morning, I'm Tamar Wachi, and this is your recent news recap. Around the globe to Paris, a dinosaur known by the name of Barry is being sold at auction. The unusually well-preserved Camptosaurus skeleton dates from the late Jurassic period, over 150 million years ago. Barry is estimated to bring in about 1.2 million euros, or 1.28 million U.S. dollars at auction. Coming to the States, annual U.S. news, college, and university rankings are scattered as the new formula shifts. With changes involving affordability and class size, results show public universities rising in ranking, while some private universities are falling back. American University, a private school in D.C., dropped from 72nd place to 105th, Meanwhile, leading public school, University of Maryland, cracked the top 50, rising nine spots from last year's ranks. Definitely something to look out for during this application season. Back to the island, Kahuku High School's football team, coached by HTA's very own Mr. Carvalho, beat number three nationally ranked team in the nation, St. John Bosco. After a wild game with Kahuku's quarterback scoring within the last minute of the fourth quarter, they came out on top 30-23. Following the game, the Red Raiders soared in the ranks, going from number 52 to number 5 in the nation. According to Honolulu Star Advertiser, this is the first time in history that a Hawaii high school team beat a top 3 nationally ranked team. Huge congrats to them! Shining a spotlight on HTA, our leadership class is holding a bake sale in support of the Maui Relief Fund. You can find their table in the hallway during both lunch blogs today and Thursday. Finally, for this week's weather, expect mostly sunny skies with high humidity throughout the week. Temperatures are steady in the mid-80s during the day and low 70s in the night. And that's all for recent news. I'm Tamar Wachi. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Tamar. Next up is our H2H segment where we get to know each other better. The, this week's question is, what is your favorite weird food combination? I'm James. I'm Rain. And we're your reporters for this week's H2H broadcast. The question of the week is what is your favorite weird food combination? Let's go. Hi, I'm Rain and I'm here with Zeandre. And the question of the day is what's your favorite weird food combination? My favorite weird food combination is probably pineapples and soy sauce. <laughs> I'm Rain, and I'm here with Owen. And the question of the day is what's your weird food combination? Mayonnaise with white bread. Just that. That's kind of normal. Really? Yeah. Because you know sandwiches? Hi, I'm here with Mr. Shaw. Uh, Mr. Shaw, what is your favorite weird food combination? I love wrapping a Three Musketeers bar in kale because it makes me feel like the Three Musketeers bar is help healthy. Yes. Hi, I'm Rain and I'm here with Kay. And the question of the day is what is your favorite weird food combination? Mangoes and soy sauce. <laughs> Do you like pour the soy sauce over it or like you dip yeah, it? Yeah, you dip it. Mango ice cream too with soy sauce is really good. <laughs> she ruined ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. No! No! Hi, I'm here with Grayson. And the question for today is, what is your weird food combination? 
Pickles and Snickers. What? It's a thing. Like, do you, wait, wait, explain that. Okay, so like, what you do is like, you cut a Snicker in half, right? You put the pickle in the middle and you eat it like a sandwich. Okay. Hi, I'm here with Jalea. And the question of the day is, what is your weird food combination? Uh, Doritos and cream cheese. It's good though. Doritos and cream cheese. Hi, I'm here with Haven. Uh, Haven, what's your favorite weird food combination? My favorite? Yeah. Hamburgers and ketchup, I guess. French fries and ketchup? Yes. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Marita. Uh, Miss Marita, what's your favorite weird food combination? Well, I don't think it's a weird food combination, but y'all make fun of me because I put pineapple on my pizza. But yes. Thank you to everyone who participated. And now back to our anchors. Thanks to everyone who participated. Lastly, we have Emma with our fun fact of the day. Did you know that you can grow taller in space than on Earth? Due to the lack of gravity, it allows your spine to relax and to expand, letting you grow 3% more in space than on Earth. That's about two inches for a six foot tall person. Well, now you know. Thanks, Emma. And that's all we have for this week's broadcast. We'll catch you guys next week. Ta-ta, turtles. Catch, catch you later. later.